Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the first vlog I'm posting in a very long time. If you didn't see my recent video, I did upload a summer favorites video, which was my last video, so go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And I just wanted to get back into the swing of things, get vlogging again, kind of fill you in on where I have been the past two months if for some reason you're not following me on Instagram, which you should be. If you only follow me here on YouTube, the last thing you would have seen is me in Palm Springs, which was back in April. So that was a while ago. So the past couple months, it's been a lot of different dance related things basically that I've been working on. So Viscera, the horror dance company that I am a part of, we produced our very first live show, which was a huge undertaking and it was a ton of work and I'm kind of the production manager and producer on that. And so it was a lot of new and first for me and we pulled it off and the show was amazing. I'm so proud of our team with Kira and Nikki. We did such a good job and our dancers that we hired to do the show, they were all incredible and the show was absolutely absolutely fantastic and it was just a really awesome like project for me to be a part of because a lot of the time with YouTube obviously I've been doing this for so long the reward is kind of so short because every time you post a video it feels like there's always constantly more and more and more you have to do but with like an actual stage production you like do all this hard work and it's really really difficult and then you get to see the final product and it's just like so cool to see it actually like manifest and like come to life on stage and to watch an audience reaction and hear their thoughts afterwards so we did two live shows downtown Vancouver and that was in the end of May it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done but I really enjoyed the process and it's kind of just the beginning for that company. If you're in Vancouver and you like dance and you like horror, definitely follow Viscera Presents on Instagram to see when our next events and other shows are popping up because like I said, this is just the beginning and I'm very excited about it. But yeah, that took up a ton of my time and so that was kind of what I was focusing on in the spring. We also went to LA, I went to Disneyland. If you saw my Instagram, I like did a couple reels and things like that and that was a really nice trip. It was pretty quick but um, we went to like a festival and things like that and it was just a really good little vacation. And then basically as soon as Viscera wrapped, we went into three weekends of shows at Luminesque and that's where I work, that's where I dance. And so I am in collective, which meant I was performing in all shows and we do a Friday night show and then we do a filmed run on the Saturday and then another show. So that is nine shows total that we did. And it was a lot of fun and I feel like I'm just now on the up of recovering after those shows, but that took up basically all of June. And there you have it, a little catch up on where I've been. It's been a lot of dance focused things, but that is the other like huge part of my life. And so I had a great time doing it, but I am very excited to get back into this and start filming and doing more content creation stuff. I guess that's not totally all that I've been doing. I think at the top of July, once my shows were done, I was like, nobody talked to me, I need to clean this apartment. And so I have deep cleaned my bathroom, our pantry, the living room, I've done so much and I've done a lot in this studio. I am currently looking at a new huge wardrobe that I put in, it's the Ikea pack system. And I'll show you guys, but it's kind of a hot mess right now because a lot of the parts or at least the drawers were out of stock. So I did the best I could. This was the most difficult thing Cody and I have ever built from Ikea, I don't recommend. It was a lot of screaming and like, thank God we're still together after this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really needed something that was gonna hold a lot more because it just, as you guys know, I have a lot of stuff. We've lived in this apartment for six years now. It was six years on July 1st, which is kind of crazy. And I just, I needed for peace of mind to have this room be more organized because I just kept putting it off and just needing things to be tucked away and have a place. So that was my goal. I'm still very much in the process. I'm not nearly done, but the rest of the apartment is pretty, it's looking pretty good. So I feel like a September 1st goal of having this apartment be like good and like finished, if that makes sense, is a pretty good goal to have. So I can go into the fall feeling good and like not overwhelmed with my space, you know? So obviously this part doesn't look organized at all, but I have a bin of things I'm going to be donating, giving to friends, also with clothes. And then all of the stuff kind of tucked in here is going to hopefully one day be in a drawer and kind of just sorted. It's like chaos organized right now, but I need drawers for like tech stuff and gift wrapping and dance stuff and then yeah, this will all make more sense. And like, I have started to organize some of this stuff. Like I have all of my perfumes back there and jewelry and different things like that. But you know, once I have the proper inserts, then I will fully do this and it'll be complete. Hello friends, it is a while later. It's about 9.30 and Cody and I are rushing to bin four. 
if you're from Victoria or Vancouver, you've probably heard of it, but they have this deal after 9 p.m. where you get the burger half price if you buy a drink. And I ate lunch really late because I had a shoot today. I was assisting with the Lumi Pride shoot, which was really fun, went really well. And so a late dinner was in the cards for us and I've been craving a burger and they have a really good gluten-free bun and onion rings. That's what I usually order. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go get some burgers. What is the burger of the month? The mango burger. Chicken and mango. That's really good. That's very lavender, but like in the best way. That's really yummy to try. We would try those if we come home, but pretty good. Look at that walk. Hello? Yes, I'll buzz you up. You can leave it at the door. Thanks so much. Good morning, friends. Last night we went to bin four. I was, it was, I was the most full I've ever been after a meal. It was so much food. I basically went home and crashed. I like took off my makeup and then just went right to sleep. Pro tip, do not go to bin four and eat a full meal unless you are absolutely starving because I was in pain after. <laughs> it was delicious and I don't regret it, but like, oh my God, I was so full and I'm like still full this morning. But I got ready this morning because I'm going downtown to the Pacific Center because Charlotte Tilbury and their team invited me to come do some like touch-ups with their new lip blur product, which I actually did a like try on, I think. Yes, I think that's a TikTok I filmed. If I did, it'll be right here. Um, but yeah, they launched a new lip product and so they're doing like a little like pop-in thing at Sephora downtown. So I'm gonna go to the mall, do that. And then I have two more events later tonight. Porter Airlines is doing an event. So Brittany's going to that, I'm bringing Cody. So that'll be kind of this evening. And then I'm also going to a Charlotte Tilbury dinner, which is very exciting. So big event day and I also need to go to Costco and I don't like going to Costco alone. I actually hate it so much, but there's a lot of stuff we need to get. So hopefully I muster up the courage to do that. I'm gonna get driving, gonna listen to the morning toast on the way. So we're at Sephora. I just got my lips done. How pretty is this shade? Flame blur. How cute. We're home from Costco. I very rarely go to Costco by myself because it's a dangerous place. And extra dangerous when I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything today except for a granola bar. And I think that granola bar saved me from buying the entire store. So this is what I picked up. Some were on the list, some were not. First up, we got cherries because this whole thing was $10 and I feel like that was a really good deal. I still have cherries I'm going through, but it's the summertime. I need cherries. Costco is a great place to buy butter. So I got two salted ones because I'm going to be making a cake like tomorrow basically. I thought these would be good for like beach days and stuff. They're just little pep and cheds. Very cute, good for like road trips and stuff. We got some bacon that was on the list. I got two things of fresh raspberries, again, for the cake I'm going to make, which I'm very excited about. These keto tortillas, I was introduced to these from my aunt and uncle and they're really, really good. So I picked this up and I think I'm gonna do like a chicken and cheese quesadilla. Cause I also did like a thing where I like bypass the rotisserie chickens and then I like swing back and I was like, no, I actually want one. So I got a rotisserie chicken, which is Noodle's favorite. That's probably why he's meowing. Picked up syrup, best deal in town. I love the Costco syrup. I got some eggs. Got two of these Asian cashew salad kits. These are good. Again, I can use them in the keto tortillas. Just a good old bag of spinach. My favorite deal at Costco were the popcorners. They're like five bucks, which is amazing. And again, good for beach days, good for sharing. And then I also picked up the Country Club Nut Mix. I love this stuff and it's good like to just grab a handful and have a snack. I also walked into Costco and saw Alani New in like a variety box, which I've never seen before. So I'm gonna post it on my Instagram to share that they have them at the downtown Costco. But yeah, so I picked up a box of that and then just paper towel, which I left in the car because this was enough to carry it as one person. There you have it, that's my Costco haul. I'm starving, so I'm gonna make food now. How cute are my new cups from Amazon? I love them. They're just like nice little ribbed glass tumblers. I've been enjoying them quite a bit. But I'm sitting down because I need to touch up my makeup for tonight and I wanted to kind of talk about the Charlotte Tilbury thing at the mall. Richard did my touch up and everything and so we did the lipstick and we started off with like a little more blurred effect of the lip and then we went more for an intense and apparently Charlotte really loves the Cupid's bow and likes accentuating it and almost overlining it. And so that's what he did on me and also like overlying down here. And I've never really had my lips done professionally and also especially like this because as most of you would probably recognize, I actually kind of fill in my Cupid's bow normally. I just prefer that look on me, but I mean, trying this out, obviously I've eaten and I've drank, so it's like kind of fading now, which I will touch up, but normally I don't. 
kind of let my cupid's bow be shown and so it's kind of fun and different and i feel like charlotte as a brand is very lip focused so if i were to trust any professional makeup artist with my lips it would be them so yeah i really like it i love this color they also touched up my cheeks and i think they use this one peach pop yeah it's this matte beauty wand it's so nice and then i learned something new i've been using this powder incorrectly <laughs> um classic this is the airbrush brightening flawless finish i was just using it as a translucent setting powder that is not correct it is a brightening powder so this is meant for under your eyes which makes sense because it's white and the difference was amazing we did it on one eye and not the other and i was like wow that's great thank god i know how to use that properly now so yeah i love charlotte tilbury i actually like did a lot of my makeup with the products from the brand this morning like i used this bronzer i used for foundation i was saying to the rep and stuff how much i love their face products at charlotte tilbury this foundation this airbrush flawless foundation is like one of my absolute favorites but today i actually use the other one this is a good summer one it's the beautiful skin foundation it's really lovely and they did kindly gift me the uh flame blur which is great so i can touch up for tonight because i don't think that one was in my original pr package so i'm happy to have it also too while i was at the mall i actually went into abercrombie and h&m and i tried on some dresses so i'll insert those change room clips here the two dresses at abercrombie that i really liked i thought they were on sale and they weren't so i didn't end up getting them although they were very cute but i did end up getting the one from h&m and i've been looking for like a really basic strapless kind of midi dress and so that's what i found it's black it's strapless and it's midi and it's lovely so I don't know I don't think I'm gonna wear that tonight but I do have a lot of like different events and things coming up that I know I'll get use out of it and it's a good like summer staple to have and then when I got home I walked into a package from Elemis so I thought we could open this together as well Wow, so many things look at how fun and colorful this is superfood facial wash priming hydrating facial mist I like that it's a primer that's really cool superfood facial oil glow priming moisturizer that looks really nice it sounds really nice and last but not least the superfood midnight facial very fun thanks so much elmas so i obviously don't have enough time to wash my hair and my hair has been just like you know straight for the past few days so i think what i'm actually gonna do is do like a low pony and slick it back i think that's kind of the vibe i was gonna do low bun but my hair is like straight and like decent enough that i can probably just do a pony so I think that's the plan there. Also, this might be weird, but I definitely feel like a coral lip and like coral makeup goes with slick hair. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like it's very vacationing in Italy vibes. And so whenever I wear coral on my lips or like a bold lip, I'm like, yeah, I want to slick my hair back. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it does in my mind. To help with flyaways, I'm going to use the hair wax stick. I got this from Amazon. It's so great. All you have to do, it's basically like a glue stick just have to like make sure you rub it in but it's great for little baby hairs use some bobby pins to secure the sides and since it has been a few days since i washed my hair i'm gonna just apply a little bit of this kerastax oil literally like dime size amount rub that in my hands and just lightly brush that through the pony it smells so good oh my god i love this scent we are ready and i figured i'd do like an outfit of the night because we're here this dress i actually wore in my mark jacobs campaign on instagram like two months ago and i don't think i've actually worn it out so today's the day i can wear the sleeves off the shoulder but i think i'm gonna have them up i don't know we'll see i'm gonna keep it casual for this first event i think i'm actually going to even wear my like chunky black sandals because they're more comfy and then pair that with my vintage bag here and we have the mega babe packed and ready to go if you know you know i'm doing that crazy thing again so hopefully all goes well i don't know if you guys can probably see this but this dress has like crinoline under it and stuff so it's quite um flowy and um hopefully no one sees any bits they don't want to see tonight so lips is flame blur i just kind of reapplied because i had to like do a bit of heavy touching up and so i just took it off and then reapplied it i added a couple little like half individual lashes kind of to the ends just to make it a little bit more fluttery added more blush added more freckles basically just like kept layering the makeup on top and then for perfume, I'm using My Way by Giorgio Armani. This is the new one. I'm not sure the difference, but it is such a beautiful scent. It's very floral and very sweet. So I think it's a fun like summer scent. So that's what I'm wearing. If you've never seen this, this is also, I should have mentioned this in my favorites video, but this is Asper Cream Lidocaine. It's a pain relief for your feet. So I spray this every time I wear pretty well any shoe that's not a sneaker going out of the house because it prevents blisters and it like kind of numbs pain i had this in my dance bag it works so well it's like some sort of sorcery but i feel like i've definitely minimized my blisters and my feet pain since buying this so life hack they're kind of dirty but these are the shoes i'm going to wear i'll switch into these for the dinner 
and I think that's it. I think I'll bring a jean jacket um, in case it gets cold, but other than that, I think we're good to go. dinner with the Charlotte Tilbury team that flew in from New York and DC and there was only like four of us there for dinner so it was really intimate and really lovely obviously I was not vlogging that but we had dinner at Carlino's I've never been here in Vancouver but it's near the Shangri-La and like above where the keg is it was so good the pasta was so fresh and I had an alcohol spread to my like first one of the summer which was really really delicious and it was just a really lovely evening getting to talk to other creators and like creators I have never met before and just like the Charlotte team and like their experience working with Charlotte Tilbury it was really cool to like ask some more questions and everything so yeah I had a really lovely evening and then as you guys saw the event before was with Porter Airlines which was really really cool they had like a full DJ there and everything and when we were walking out because I had to get to this dinner they handed us like this little pouch and this gift bag and they gave us free flights. Cody and I like a free voucher for a free flight and they fly like all over Canada and also to some states as well. So I'm gonna have to look into that, but that's crazy. Very thankful for that. That's like such a cool gift to receive at an event like that. The whole event was really well done. I feel like they did a really great job and the space for that event was really, really cool. So yeah, did a double feature tonight, but it was all really fun and yeah, I don't know, feeling grateful. I feel like Today was a really good day. <laughs>